Hello there, my name is Zoltan Pali. I am principal of SPF Architects and welcome to the Ohm Road House Project. When you first come to the house, you notice that it has a unique shape. It's kind of a shape of a Y, and the reason we did that is to create three different yard types. They are connected visually, but they are clearly three distinctive spaces. The plan of the house really allows a sort of intimacy to occur. Within the middle of the Y, we located the, the central stairway, which connects all three levels. You know, you always know where you're at. You're always connected to the other spaces. That, to me, creates intimacy. Here we are within the living room, and this is a prime example of what most of the spaces feel and read like. It has views on all three sides. You're always walking around the edge of the house. This is how you're mostly connected to the exterior. The way I see it is when you're moving through the house. If you follow the lines of the house, you are not only connected to the exterior, you're also connected to everything that you pass by, and of course, you end up at the kitchen and in the family area. On the upper level, is really the sleeping quarters. It's the family. There's a master, there's a mini master, and then there's three other bedrooms. Within the mini master, one view of it looks toward the Getty Center. We were able to position a freestanding tub that looks right out at the Getty, and we call it the Getty Tub. Master Suite is a 2,000 square foot, basically one large volume, where the bed, the closets, the bathroom elements, the, the tub, everything kind of floats within that space. And the master itself too becomes part of the exterior when you want it to be by the use of the sort of sliding doors that go away into the pocket. I can imagine that anyone who stays here might actually feel like the king of the mountain. Out here was really designed as a reflection or a, a continuation of the interior. You'll notice that the, the patterning and the way the pool is shaped is mimicking the shape of the house. The upper floor overhangs to create a shaded area by which to sit under at the same time while relaxing. And the whole idea was to feel like you're floating above the city and then view and, and see the Santa Monica Bay in the distance. I think what we try to achieve here is a strong blend between architecture and livability. Hey, we put a lot of love into this place. We hope you've enjoyed it and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?